The House will come to order. Start the clock. The next question, the member for Orléans. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Ma question est pour la ministre des Services à l'enfance et des services sociaux et communautaires. Since the government's announcement of the new Ontario Autism Program, children, parents, frontline workers, organizations have been in a state of complete chaos. Mr. Speaker, I really hope that the minister won't do her uh, always the same tired political spin with her answer. I really don't want to hear today again about the fact that they'll reduce the wait list or they'll eliminate the income test or that they'll doubling the investment in the diagnostic hub or that they're listening to parents by actually providing OT and speech therapy or that existing program of the children who are receiving the proper service were extended by six months. Minister, what I want to know, and I think everyone in Ontario wants to know, is actually what are you actually doing? No more political spin. No one actually knows what you're doing. So, Mr. Question. Speaker, my question is simple. What is the minister actually doing to help day-to-day -day lives of parents with children with autism? Before I ask the minister to reply, I'm going to remind the Minister of Natural Resources and Forestry once again that he has to come to order. The member for Kitchener-Conestoga has to come to order. Minister of Children and Community and Social Services. I want to thank the honourable member for her question, and I think it was a really important question to ask. So here's what we're doing. Uh, we rent a Treasury board. We were able to get $102 million to keep the current program moving. We invested $321 million uh, on, uh, in February, and we're investing an additional uh, $300 million to double the funding to support all children with autism in the province of Ontario. We have invested into diagnostic hubs by doubling those, and those uh, wait lists will start to be cleared this, uh, this month. There's 2,400 children that are on that list. 23,000 children are waiting for service from their Ontario government. That's why we're going to a childhood budget and we're going to be offering uh, those children a lot of choice in, in what types of services that they get. We've also said that we're going to bring forward a massive consultation process as of Mar May the 1st, and we would encourage members opposite to be part of this process with us. We're going to be ensuring that there's parents involved, clinicians involved, and, and many other people. And we're also going to extend an invitation to members opposite to host roundtables, and we hope that they take us up on that offer. Thank you. Supplementary. I want to say thank you to the minister for have missed some of the old political spin po talking points that she said for a very long time now. Uh, and I actually, Mr. Speaker, I want to say I've taken the honourable member uh, to heart because I have actually two consultations in Orleans on May 6th and May 16th in Orleans to discuss the consultation. I think parents still have questions, and that's today what I'm asking the minister. You know, they're wondering why we haven't started with actually the consultation. Members of this House probably are all wondering why the consultation did not start first before doing this wonderful approach of chaos to those parents. And I'm going to ask, Mr. Speaker, on behalf of all the parents here, why? And I'm going to ask, hopefully I'll get question. an answer. So my questions, and I hope you answer, Minister, when families who have been thrown off the wait list will be starting funds, receiving the funds. I'm going to ask the minister how family... Thank you. Minister to reply. Thank you very much, Speaker. I'm proud that this government started cons consultations as early as June last year when we were first appointed, uh, to the, to, uh, first elected, and when I was first appointed. Uh, we had over a dozen roundtables led by my parliamentary assistant, Amy Fee. But let me be perfectly clear, with the additional $300 million we were able to secure thanks to the flexibility of Premier Ford, we are going out for a needs-based assessment uh, tool, and we are going to be consulting. As of May 1st, there will be an online survey at Ontario .ca forward slash autism. I hope all Ontario parents uh, take part in that. The second thing that we're going to do is have telephone town halls right across the province in the month of May. The third thing that we're going to do is ensure that every single MPP who wants to have a roundtable has an ability to provide support uh, to their constituents and then fill that to information into my ministry. And fifth, and this is what I'm very proud of, and this is what everyone's talking about, Spons? is the fact that this ministry and, that, and the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Education for the first time ever are, are doing wraparound supports and we are going to leverage all resources for children with autism in the, Stop the clock. 